My name is Larry. I'm an old retired preacher. And I got a little story to tell you. One time there was a gathering in Milwaukee of corporate execs who were in charge of grants and gifts to charitable organizations. And I was chosen to go and make a plea to them for the Bible camp. I prepared my speech, but then I had a thought. I filled my car with high school students. These were students that had been to camp with me. I said to them, sing some camp songs to these people, and then you tell why camp is so important to you. Oh, did they do a job. I gave my talk, they sang, they gave little presentations until we got to the last one. And that boy just blew the socks off of me like you can't believe. He got up there and he said, I didn't want to come to Bible camp. I never wanted to come to Bible camp. I belong to a gang. I'm doing drugs. I'm skipping school. I'm flunking out and I don't care. Oh, my goodness. But, he said, my parents told me I have to go to Bible camp because if I don't, Pastor Larry might not confirm me and they wanted me to be confirmed. So, I went to camp, and ladies and gentlemen, he said, about this time my jaw was down on the floor, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, camp turned my life around. There, I met God, I knew that Jesus was my savior, I was a different person. I came back home, I quit the gang, I don't do drugs anymore, I never miss school, and I'm getting B's and C's, he said. Ask my parents. They'll tell you. My mom, my, my mom, my mom will tell you. There was some silence in the crowd. And then the people arose, and there was a standing ovation. Uh, the camp, incidentally, did get quite a few thousands of dollars of gifts and grants from that session. But that's why I believe in Lutherdale Bible Camp. Bible Camp is a place where lives are regenerated, refreshed, and even reborn. There was a lady who was a worldwide speaker, and she was meeting one time with a huge group of us, and she said, let the unchristians, the non-Christians, take care of all the other charities of the world, and you Christians take care of the work of Jesus. That's what he called you to do. Well, Lutherdale Bible Camp is a place where Jesus' work is done. Thousands and thousands of people come here. Some people think just a few hundred or a few thousand because of children in the summer. Oh, no, no. All year round, people of all ages come to Lutherdale Bible Camp. And when they're here, they're refreshed. But they're renewed. And some are reborn because the spirit of Jesus Christ is in this place. Here is where God blesses people. You don't leave Lutherdale without feeling refreshed and blessed and spiritually invigorated. That's why I give to Bible camp. That's why I serve. That's why I volunteer. I do it because I'm serving my Lord here. This is the best place on earth to serve Jesus Christ is right at this Bible camp. But during this pandemic that we've had lately, folks, Lutherdale has been hurting. And I would plead with you, please open up your hearts, open up your wallets, open up your checkbooks, because Lutherdale needs your help. And they need it right now. This is a tough time for everybody in the whole world. And the Bible camp is no different. It's hurting. And you and I as Christians, brothers and sisters, ought to do the Lord's work. This Lutherdale Bible Camp is the best place I can think of to do his work. Thank you, and God bless you.